Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you're watching this presentation today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times for our thousands of subscribers to our channel to watch. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that vehicle comes down off of our website, letting you know that it's no longer available. Also, check us out on Instagram. We're going to have vehicles such as this Mustang we are about to present to you prior to them hitting our website. So if you are in the market for a hot, specific year make model, you might be able to get a jump on another prospective buyer. There's also a link there to our gift shop here in Daytona Beach. We have Hankster's apparel, hats, t-shirts, flags, banners, all kinds of uh, garage uh, type items, man cave type items for your basement, garage, barn, shed, whatever. So check that out as well. This is a car we uh, announced as a new arrival here to our showroom a couple weeks ago. Now it's ready for retail sales, so we are doing our video presentation on it. 1969 Ford Mustang convertible, so let's get started. 351, uh, 250 horse, 351 in it. Uh, power brakes, power steering. There is no AC compressor, so there is no air in the car. However, you're going to have plenty of air when you put the top down. Let's check out the rest of the vehicle. Yellow in color, accented in black, black convertible top, uh, black center hood with the 351 badging. Check out the uh, grill portion there and the uh, front bumper and the lower uh, spoiler. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, the lower spoiler is not cracked. Chrome on the front bumper is in good condition. It's not pitted, it's not rusted. Uh, overall condition of the grill is pretty good there in the front. Uh, it is a flat black on the hood, uh, like a matte black uh, there on the scoop and then on the hood itself. And then of course you have your clear coat uh, yellow paint. Uh, real nice paint on the car. Top of the driver's side fender here is in good condition. All the yellow paint and the matte black that I can see on the hood is in good condition as well. Uh, we put brand new front tires on the car. They were worn uh, down to where we don't feel comfortable selling them. So uh, we put new ones on. They are brand new. Uh, tires on the front. We did not put the wheels on. We bought it that way. However, they look fairly new. Uh, it, they're not pitted. Uh, the five star, uh, you got your uh, flat silver there in the center with your uh, brushed aluminum look going around the outskirts of the uh, wheel there. Uh, really nice sharp looking wheel gives the car a nice contrast. Uh, the front fender on the driver's side is nice and straight. You have your uh, flat black or matte black accent uh, on the uh, driver side front fender as well as on the door. The overall condition of the uh, front windshield is in good shape. Uh, all the window glass on the car is in pretty good condition. You know, with any classic car, you have, uh, you know, light scratching, faint scratching, depending upon obviously the age of the glass itself um, and how uh, previous owners took care of it and how pe people restored the vehicles, whether they covered the glass or not, and you know things of that nature, but the, uh, the glass on this car is in pretty good shape. Uh, we did not put this on, but this is a newer black convertible top. So uh, no rips, no tears, no discoloration. Uh, the car, just so you know, did start life. Uh, it was green interior and a green convertible top. So um, we have put new interior in. I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. But before I do, I want to show you that the uh, chrome on the driver's door handle is in pretty good shape. And the uh, overall condition of the door is in nice shape. Uh, and what I mean by that is there's no blistering or cracking, fading in the paint. And the uh, door itself is nice and straight and solid. Uh, no rust bubbles or anything like that. As I told you, what we did, the reason it took us a while to get this car together is because we put brand new interior in it all the way through. And as of course you know, right now with COVID, um, you know, interior is hard to come by uh, with certain year makes and models. Door panels, all one piece, they're all brand new. They were just put in. Uh, the seat, vinyl on the seats, both front and rear are brand new, just put in. Okay, the seat belts are not new, but the, uh, the vinyl itself on the seat, brand new. The carpeting in the car, the floor mats, brand new. The steering wheel is not brand new. It's probably original. Um, 
if I, I was a betting man, I say it was. It is cracked in a couple spots. Uh, you will be able to see that in the video and in the still photos. The reason uh, I did not replace the steering wheel is because that, again, in my opinion, is the original steering wheel, which so there's some value in that. Um, steering wheels are cheap enough to buy. You can get one from Summit or Jegs or somebody like that for, you know, 150 bucks uh, for a really nice one. So if you want to put a new steering wheel on it, that's up to you. Again, carpeting in the car is brand new. What somebody tried to do was, um, and we bought the car, you know, the interior was green, carpeting was green. They tried to take the cheap route and dye it black, and it probably worked for a portion of time, but half the interior was green, half the interior was black, so uh, had no choice but to put a new interior in it. But it was such a nice, mechanically strong, solid car that, hey, what's some cosmetic items as long as we got good bones, right? So uh, again, I, I was saying good bones, meaning that the, uh, the body lines are real nice and straight, quarters are real solid, uh, driver's side door, front fender, everything's real nice. Uh, the rear window here is kind of a hokey setup. That is the way they came from the factory. You know, there's not a problem with that window. That's probably, again, original. The window was not replaced with the top. Um, so that's the way that the window is. It's uh, serving its purpose and functioning like it should. Uh, the deck lid fits nice to the rear quarters. Uh, the overall paint quality on the deck lid is pretty nice. Same with the tops of the quarters. I don't see anything there. There's you know, any, any fading in the clear, excess dirt and debris in the paint. Uh, rear bumper is really nice on the car. You can see around the uh, bumper bolts there. It's, in fact, I can tell you that bumper, it just, it just hits me, and as many cars I process and look at and um, all that fun stuff, uh, that bumper's brand new. We put that bumper on there because the bumper was patina in the car and um, we ended up putting a new, new rear bumper on it. So uh, nice uh, Ford gas cap there, the little pony gas cap on the rear. Let's take a look in the trunk. In the trunk, uh, it's nice and solid. It does have a trunk mat. Um, Let's see if I can get the, well, that, I think the trunk mat's got, there we go. Okay, so you got a newer gas tank, uh, it's solid in the trunk area. I can't get that side of the trunk mat up, it's like stuck, so. Uh, but there's no rust or rod holes in there. Um, now, parade boot for the cars, two of them, but they're, that's the green that the color was of the interior. So the parade boots are green. Okay, we did not buy new parade boots, so if you want a matching parade boot, you're going to have to buy one, or we can buy one for you and include it in the deal if they're even available to get. Um, I waited long enough for interior, I wasn't waiting any longer for a parade boot, so it is what it is. Uh, rear quarters on the passenger side there, uh, real nice on the vehicle, uh, real nice and straight. Again, your wheel here, nice condition. Passenger side door, uh, the body lines on this car are really nice. I mean, the doors line up real nice. You can see your uh, uh, striping there on the uh, passenger door. It's the same on the driver's door. Everything lines up real nice down at the rockers. The paint on the car is real nice, deep uh, yellow paint. Let's take a look in the, now this is our window sticker here, so I'll take this out of there. Um, again, all the interior is brand new, so I assure you, there's no uh, rips or tears or areas of imperfection there. Does have seat belts front and rear, so if you do have kids you wanna pop in here, you, uh, you have a way to buckle them down back there. Uh, I'll show you the dash and whatnot on the uh, test drive presentation. Give, give you a closer look at the interior. Uh, the passenger side front fender is in nice shape as well. Again, I told you both front tires on the car are brand new. It's a nice looking Mustang. We had a ton of activity when I, I put like five pictures of this vehicle on our website. Um, you know, just to, like I said, we, we're going through such hard times right now in terms of uh, paint availability, interior availability. Um, different cosmetic accessories being available. You know, it's like we have a, a ton of cars to market, but it seems as like we're always waiting on something. You don't know how tough this is when you got 30, 40 cars to process and 
it's like you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. And sometimes you just, you got to make it work, you know, and that's what we're, we're trying to do is we're trying to work through this just like everybody else. So um, the interior is all here. It's in. So you got black interior now versus green. Uh, you got a brand new uh, top. You have great paint. You got two new front tires on the front. Uh, the rears are, I would say, I don't know if there's a thousand miles on them. That'd surprise me. They're they're newer. Um, a lot of, a lot going for the car. Uh, it, it's a nice Mustang, and I'm sure it'll sell quickly. Like I said, when we had it as a new arrival, we posted just a couple of pictures. We had people inquiring about it, blowing our phones up. We're gonna send uh, emails to those people that did inquire, letting them know that the car is in fact 100% ready now. Um, and we're going to show them this video presentation as well as the uh, still photos that we take. So, I did a quick walk around this uh, 1969 Ford Mustang. If you watch this video or a, a number of our videos, we pretty much are systematic in the uh, procedure, uh, in the process of each video. We show you the walk around in the showroom, we show you the undercarriage, and we take a test drive. We try to put you as close to the vehicle as we possibly can. However, I've told you before, and I'll tell you again, I'm around these cars every day. I drive them, I buy them, I sell them. I'm very familiar with what a 30, 40, 50 year old car uh, should look like, act like, perform like, uh, what the paint should uh, show like, uh, you know, how the, the motor should run, what is, is a good running car, is not a good running car, what's a strong transmission motor, yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So, um, but, we would like to show you guys firsthand. Uh, you know, I do this six, seven days a week, so um, I'm very familiar with these vehicles. However, you may not be. This may be your first classic car purchase, or you may have had a 69 Mustang when you were younger and you maybe haven't driven one in 30, 40 years, whatever the case may be. Um, we will let you take this car outside. We'll show you the paint and the sunshine. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the motor performs and the transmission performs. We'll show you the undercarriage, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the suspension components, the floor pans. It's what we enjoy doing and that's why we're here. We have a 25,000 square foot showroom here in Daytona. All of our cars are indoors and we do this every day. With that being said, most of our deals, the reason we spend endless hours uh, shooting photos and videos of our cars is because most of our deals are done sight unseen. We've been selling online uh, for over 20 years sight unseen classic car vehicles. That should tell you something about our business model. If we've been successful at selling 50 year old pieces of equipment and it's been around for over 20 years, um, again, that should say something. We're gonna take it around the building right now. We'll see which rack out back is open. We will throw it in the air for you guys and check out the undercarriage. And then shortly after that, we will drive it. Underneath our 69 Ford Mustang convertible, disc brakes up front. Uh, from what I can see of the oil pan, it looks uh, dry here. You can see better in the front, like the front seals nice and dry. The uh, filters new and nice and dry in the uh, side of the pan there. So that looks good. Uh, continuing back in the car, uh, frame rails look good, both the uh, driver and the passenger. Transmission pans looking you right in the eye there, uh, looks dry all the way around. Exhaust on the vehicle looks pretty good. You are contending with some exhaust manifolds here dropping down into uh, dual pipes, then continuing back into a single pipe that's gonna run along the drive shaft. Again, continuing back on the car, uh, driver and passenger side frame rails look to be in good shape. Uh, problem areas on your tranny pan, uh, or on your transmission, I'm sorry. We already looked at the tranny pan. Uh, tail shaft seal looks to be in good shape. And I don't even see the speedo cable but uh, I don't see any leaks either, so we're in good shape there. Um, cross member uh, across the floor pans here, uh, going, uh, you know, encompassing the uh, drive shaft, that looks to be in good shape. Uh, again, check out the floor pans on the driver and the passenger side. You don't see any uh, areas of uh, patchwork or sealing there, so that's a good thing, that's a good sign. I do not see any uh, pinholes, rod holes, rust holes in the exhaust system itself. That looks to be pretty good. Your uh, area here where the floor pans continue and the frame rails continue, 
All that looks good. It goes up into your back seat area and your trunk area. You can see there's no rust or rot in there. Uh, drum brakes in the rear. Rear leaf springs look to be in good shape. Uh, you have a single uh, exhaust pipe there turned down just under the uh, muffler. Gas tank looks like it's probably newer. Uh, the drop downs on the rear quarters. The uh, I don't know if you guys can see that with the light and the black, but see that's metal to metal right there, so that's a good sign. It's the same thing on the uh, drive on passenger side. I'm sorry, as the driver's side. Uh, by the way, uh, brand new uh, front tires on the vehicle. Uh, the front tires were needing some attention. The rear tires were good. They are uh, matching tires. Uh, we put brand new ones on the front, so those are brand new. Literally have not even two miles on them. If you're a cash buyer, we accept certified bank check or bank wire transfer is the most common form of payment simply because the funds are there the same day. Uh, also, if you're coming to visit us here in Daytona in person, you can certainly bring us cash. That does still spend these days, believe it or not. If you're financing, uh, we do have three different collector car lenders we work with. Yes, they are collector car lenders. We do not offer in-house financing. I don't know why I get asked that question so much, but hopefully uh, you know, we'll answer it in the video. Uh, it's not in-house. It's definitely through a, a third party, through a bank. Uh, they're going to require that you put 10% down of the purchase price. The remaining balance is going to be over a five to 10 year period, whatever your approval is for. Uh, standard approval is going to be based on, you know, a course credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, you know, things like that. If you take this car out for seven years and you decide you want to pay it off in two, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. There's no prepayment penalty with the lenders that we work with. Again, they're going to require you put a minimum of 10% down. If you want to put down more, you certainly can, but 10% is going to be your minimum. Once the car is funded in full, whether you're cash or financing, uh, the car gets put through a uh, pre-delivery inspection process. This process is done in the order that the cars are funded. So there might be two or three in front of yours, there might be seven or eight in front of yours, depending on how busy we are that week, that month. Once the car is through an outgoing inspection, that inspection is recorded. You get a copy of it on your keychain when the car arrives on a little keepsake USB thumb drive. Along with the photos that we took in the showroom of this car and this video presentation you're watching right now. Once it's through inspection, the guys tell me it's ready to go. We call a carrier for pickup. Pickups usually within 24 to 48 hours, depending on where you're located in the United States and or in the world for that matter. And then the car is on its way to you. Uh, delivery time is dependent upon, you know, if it's a two car carrier, three car carrier, 10 car carrier, obviously where you're located in the United States, but uh, the driver will be in contact with you uh, with regards to delivery. And if you're coming to pick it up here locally from us or you have your own carrier you're using, uh, we will call you and let you know it's ready and then you can uh, send for it or come get it. This is a convertible and typically we never do test drives in convertibles without the top down. However, today we are going to because it's February here in Daytona and it's brisk. We have humidity in the air constantly. So our 60 degrees feels like anybody else's 45 or 50 degrees because there's always that moisture in the air. It cuts through your, uh, cuts through your body. Plus, we're used to 70, 80 degree weather, 90 degree weather in the summer, obviously. So let's set this 69 Mustang down on the ground. We'll take it out on a test drive and see how it runs out. Okay, inside of our 69 Mustang convertible, we have a horn. Turn signals, driver, passenger. Oil pressure's working, alternator's working. 47,316 is the mileage on the odometer. The title is exempt. We'll check the temp gauge later on in the test drive. Uh, fuel gauge does function. Radio does not work. It's in there, but no sound. So we don't fix radios, so the radio will not be functioning. Um, it is the original, looks to be the original steering wheel. It does have a crack at the top and a couple cracks throughout the steering wheel. Uh, the carpeting in the car is brand new. We put it in, brand spanking new. So are the seats. Seats are brand new, both front and rear. Door panels are brand new. The whole interior is basically brand new. Uh, the interior that was in it was old and tattered and faded, uh, so we upgraded it. So you're getting uh, completely brand new floor mats, brand new carpet, uh, all that stuff. 
Let's take it on a drive. Normally in Florida, we are top down, but like I said, it is brisk today to say the least. So we are going to do the presentation with the top up. By the way, the top is manual. It is not power. Um, anytime that the top is power, we uh, demonstrate that in the video presentation going up and down. Uh, however, this one is manual. So pretty simplistic operation. Oh, I forgot wipers. Wipers. Okay, now we're ready to drive it, so let's go. Inside our Mustang, if we let go of the wheel, the car tracks nice and straight. The response in the steering is quite nice. The car is nice and tight. It has a real good ride to it. There's no tire vibration. There's no uh, bouncing on the tires. There's no vibration in the drivetrain. Speedometer is on the money. Reading accurately and uh, not bouncing all over the place car has good acceleration to it. Nice running, uh, nice running vehicle. We'll come up here to the traffic light. Uh, I'm not going to hot shot it, hot rod it. It's just, you know, we're going to show you how the car stops. We're going to show you the car, that, you know, an idle that doesn't want to uh, stall out. And then we're going to run it through the gears for you. With the top up and the windows up, you know, being cooler in Daytona today, I don't know if you're really going to be able to hear the tranny shift or not, but. Ten points for the guy on the bike. Now we'll let him uh, ride his little bike, bicycle there. Again, here we are at idle. Car's not wanting to stall out. Idling real nice. Got some traffic, got to stop again. You know, no, look at no shaking in the steering wheel, no shaking in the shifter. Key's not going crazy. catching up to traffic there that's I shut it off at 70 I'm coming up to the red pickup truck we're dropping down now we're at 55 this is 45 miles per hour right here so we try to get them up on this strip here as fast as we can get them depending on traffic and uh, you know it's we're still at 50 and let go of the wheel the car's driving nice again nice tight steering good acceleration no, uh, no pulsation or vibration in the brakes, by the way. It's a nice car. Yellow. Brand new interior. Convertible. Mustang, 69. It's the right year. This car has a lot going for it. Everything's working in the car like it should. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Once again, hangsters.com is our website. That's where you can find all the photos of this car today. I can guarantee you there'll be 100 of them. It's a convertible, so we take 100 photos of the convertibles. Along with this video presentation you are watching right now. At full retail price, this vehicle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a 12-month, 12,000-mile 12 powertrain warranty. Keep in mind here, we're at a traffic light. We're not stalling out. We're not overheating. Temperature gauge is working. At full retail price, this car includes uh, shipping in the lower 48 United States and a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty. The warranty is good on engine, transmission, and rear end only. It's not a bumper to bumper warranty. The rest of the car is as is. Um, if we negotiate the price of the vehicle, uh, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, we can help you arrange the shipping if you'd like. However, you will pay the driver on delivery uh, with cash or check. They do not accept credit cards. If you are a collector that has used a carrier in the past you're familiar with or that you had a good experience with, you're more than welcome to use them as well. We make no money off the shipping. Um, we just simply provide it as a convenience to our customer. Maybe you're a collector that has your own trailer or um, if you're local to us here in Central Florida, you can certainly visit our showroom in Daytona Beach and pick the car up yourself. 
The shipping that we include uh, with a full retail price is on an enclosed carrier. We don't ship anything open uh, unless we can't physically fit it into an open carrier, which we've had some Jeeps and pickup trucks that we can't. So, But uh, everything we ship out uh, included at full retail price is on an enclosed carrier. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout Florida and throughout the entire United States, but throughout the entire world. Hangster's Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. Please check us out.